action. Hey YouTube, welcome back to Above the Reef. I'm Mike, your host for this episode. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Ice Cap K2 120 Protein Skimmer from Coral View. Uh, it is 120 gallons um, on a light load down to a 75 on a heavy load. Uh, this is new for us. It's a um, space saving design, which is going to work great in our sump, which we're going to be replacing the Aquatop Zyclone skimmer that's in here. Not because it hasn't worked for us or what we needed to do, but once we take it out, we have so much more room for activities. Okay, because this will become an in sump skimmer, whereas our Zyclone is a hang on. So let's go ahead and get this out of the box and see what we have. Only use scissors under the supervision of an adult. We have our producer here, so we're good. <laughs> All right, here we go. Nice and solid, the packing in there. Ice cap protein skimmer, little uh, pamphlet. Not a lot to it, <laughs> that's it. So hopefully you're good with skimmers. We'll look in these directions here in a minute, put it all together. So if you look in the box, uh, it, it definitely comes disassembled. There's a lot of parts here that are gonna have to be put together. So uh, we'll start taking them out and we'll show you each individual piece. Now these skimmers are solid PVC and um, acrylic bodies, okay? So they are solid, solid skimmers, okay? So right here the first piece we have is our body, okay? Now these skimmers are pipeless um, with the um, water being poured out the bottom to reduce the amount of bubbles and things like that in your tank. Okay. We'll get all these little pieces out of here. Now you'll see here when we say pipeless, um, it's basically like a gate valve right here on the side that we can use to adjust our flow. Okay, And it just screws up and down pretty much like a gate valve does in your tanks for some of the plumbing that you might be used to using if you use gate valves. <clears throat> Next piece we have coming out is our um, collection cup. Get this out of here. All right, uh, very solid piece. This thing feels really heavy, really thick, real solid. Um, for those of you who are interested in measuring how much skimmit you take out, kind of gross if you want to measure it, but you can. Um, holds well, about four, four to six liters in there. The O-rings on this are really big, really solid. So when it goes in, it's sitting in there, okay? So there's your two parts so far. Um, we may have to edit this video when we put it all together because there are a lot of parts here, but we'll see as we get it all out. All right. Uh, the next piece here is our um, what appears to be our air inlet, um, which is going to help reduce the amount of noise. Now these skimmers are meant to run really silent, real quiet. So um, once we get it up and running, we'll know for sure. <clears throat> Whoa, here's our pump. Now, um, lots of foam in there. Coral View uses um, reliable, trusted CJ pumps. This is a Synchra um, SK200, and these are designed to run quiet. Um, and these are solid pumps. They've been around for a long time. Uh, so we expect some good performance out of this pump once we get it all put together. All right, next piece we're coming to. They pack this thing well. There's a lot of packing in here, okay? Uh, here is the bottom portion of the skimmer. Okay, and we talked about the the way they, um, the water comes out of the bottom to reduce the amount of air bubbles and stuff in the tank. And you notice all around this, there are circle um, holes to allow the water to exhaust out the bottom 
of the skimmer versus on some of our ones that have pipes where we're water shooting out the side. Okay? So, um, really good design there. And the colors are cool. Blue and white, pretty cool colors. Now, some other pieces in here. Um, caps, additional pieces, valves, Allen wrenches so that we can take apart the bottom. Okay. Um, when this thing is undone, you'll turn the bottom and you'll be able to drop that off. So this thing disassembles quite a bit for you to be able to clean the entire skimmer. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick break. We're going to get this thing completely assembled for you and show you what it looks like when it's all together. All right, welcome back. We have our ice cap all put together. Were these instructions the greatest instructions in the world, like I said earlier? No. They're not very clear. Um, we actually kind of had to watch another video from Coral View to help put it together. But once we got it running and we got the, the steps in place, it wasn't a bad deal. Uh, some nice things that we found when we put this together, uh, um, Coralview did a great job with this CJ pump and how they, they hold it in there. If you'll notice, there's two blue clips, one on each side, and they slide right into the feet of this pump. Now, uh, that means that should this pump fail, you have to replace it with this CJ pump, okay, because the way it's designed, it's specifically um, molded the, the plastic and everything or the PVC and acrylic to fit exactly where this pump goes. So if you do fail, you have to get this pump to replace it. Um, they did a great job with the silencer. The connector up here, once it's in, you have a little adjustment right here that you can just pull to the side to allow a little more air in. Okay, and it'll make it quieter, louder, more air in there. It has an air inlet, so you can force air or ozone. It literally even says ozone right there, next to the blue tube. <laughs> so uh, their thoughts are that if you want to run ozone through your skimmer, they have you covered. Now, um, we're gonna get this put in the sump. Again, like we said, it's a super compact design. It's five inches, or five and a quarter inches, um, by six inches at the base. Okay, it is over, a little over seven inches when you talk about the full width of the, all the molding that they did when they put this together. So when you put this in your sump, if you're limited, you, you definitely can put it in lengthwise in your Amazing. sump and not worry about your baffles getting in the way as long as you have five and a quarter inches. So when we get it put in here, it's going to be super tight. Hey, crazy! But we think it's going to work just fine. So we're going to get our old skimmer pulled out. We're going to get this skimmer put in. So the next time we see you, we're going to be showing you a full rundown of the aqua top and all the changes that we've done because there's been quite a bit. So don't forget to like and subscribe to our videos and we'll see you next time above the reef. Hey YouTube, welcome back. This is above the reef. I'm Mike, your host for this episode. And today we're talking about the K2 one tonny 120. <laughs> Fuck. Just go for there, go. No. We're talking about that. Nope, I'm starting over. <laughs>